In this session, we are going to learn how we can do different file handling operations with the help of Python programming language. So typically when you are dealing with files, you perform different set of actions. For example, if you want to read the data, in that case you are going to open the file and then you are going to read the data. And let's say you want to read the data line by line or let's say you want to uh, append some more data to the file. Okay, So these are some of the operations which you typically perform when you are dealing with files. So now we are going to see how with the help of Python programming language we can perform all of those actions. So for this demo I have already created a file in D drive and which is called demo.txt and now we are going to read that file using Python programming language and we will see what is the content or what is the data which is there inside that file. So uh, I'm going to create a variable which is called file. So this can be any variable. And then we have a function which is called open function and inside this open function we need to tell name of the file along with the complete path so since my file is in d drive i'm going to give d drive and we need to use backslashes two times and my file name is demo.txt so what this is going to do is this is going to open the file in read only mode and now we can read the content of the file by using read method so what we need to do is we need to apply read method and then this is going to read all the data of the file and if we want to see the data on the screen we can also use print and now let's do control enter and let's see what is the output which we have now you can see this is the content which was written in the file and this is the output uh, which we have received Okay, so there are three lines of uh, data which is written inside the file and we are successfully able to read that data. Now in order to close the file, you need to do file.close and what this is going to do is this is going to close the file. Closing the file is very important because if you perform or if you open many files and you don't close the files, in that case files are going to remain open and going to keep on occupying space in memory and eventually it is going to end up eating all the system resources. So that's the reason whenever you open a file, make sure after your work is done, you also close the file. So here I'm going to press Control Enter. And so what this has done is this has opened the file and this has read the content of the file and then it has closed the file. Now uh, using file.read method, we were able to read entire file. Now let's say if we want to read the file line by line. In that case we have a method which is called read line. So here rather than read I'm using read line and let's see what is the output which we receive. So I'm going to do control enter and now you can see we have received only first line which is welcome to Python programming language. Now along with both the method methods read and read line you can also specify the total number of characters which you want to read. For example, let's say if you are interested in reading only uh, first 20 characters, then you can do that as well. So what you need to do is you need to specify argument inside this read method. So here I'm telling 20 uh, while doing file.read and once I do control enter, now you can see it has read only first 20 characters of the file. Now you can do the same with read line as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let's read only first 15 characters of li uh, line, first line. So let's do control enter and you can see it has read only first 15 characters of the file. Now let's say we want to add more data in the file. So how we can perform those kind of actions. Okay, so I have already created some cells. So let's do it here. And we have already learned how we can write the content line by line. So I'm just going to clear this. So now we are going to learn how we can open the file in write mode and how we can write more data to the file, into the file. So uh, now what we need to do is we need to open the file in write mode or append mode. So I'm going to say file open and here we need to specify the name of our file which we want to uh, write more data in. So it is called demo.txt and now if you remember for read we did not perform any we did not give any other argument other than name of the file. 
Now in this case, we also need to specify what is the mode in which we want to open the file. So in this case, I want to add more data to the file. So I'm going to say A. So A here stands for append mode. So basically we'll be able to open the file and able to add more data in the end of the existing data. Now let's use the write method. So there is a method called write method. Using this, you will be able to write data to the file. So I'm going to say, uh, this is the fourth line which is being added through Python program. Okay, so after this, I'm going to close the file and that's it. So that's all you need to uh, write in order to write some data to the file. And once we write the data, we again want to open the file and want to read the content of the file. So I'm just going to open the file again and this time we are going to do file.read to read the content of the file. And we also need to print the content of the file. So I have added print statement here. And now let's run this and see what is the output which we get this time. Okay, so now you can see that there is a new line which has been added which is called this is the fourth line which is being added through Python program. So now you saw how we can append more lines into the file. So now let's see how we can create a new file using Python programming. So for creating a new file, what we need to do is we need to say file equal to open. And here we are going to say demo.txt2. And you need to provide either write mode or append mode. So either you can say W or you can say A. Both will work. So in this case, I'm just going to use A. And then what we are going to do is let's read the content of the file. Okay, so here I'm going to say file.close and then I'm going to open this file again and we will see what is the data which is there inside this file. So this is a new file. I'm sorry, I just want to rename it to demo2.txt. So this is a new file which we have created and as we know, we have not put any data until now. So it should not be displaying us any data. Okay, and then do file.close again. So now here I'm going to run this program and let's see what is the output which we get. Okay, so now here you can see that uh, we created a file and then we closed the file and then we opened the file in read-only mode and when we did file.read, basically there was nothing. Uh, that's why we didn't get any data and then we closed the file. So now let's open the file again in append mode and add some data to it. So I'm going to copy this piece of code and going to paste it here. And here we are going to say file.write. This is the first being added to Python program. Okay. And then we are going to read data again. So after this, I'm going to write read statement again. Now let's do control enter. And this time you can see we have received output saying this is the first line being added through Python program. So now you have learned how you can create a new file and how you can read the data of that new file. Now uh, let's talk about if you want to see whether some, some file exists or it doesn't exist, then how you can do that. Okay, so in order to check the existence of a file or existence of a file, what you need to do is that uh, there is a module which is called OS module which we need to use. So using OS module, we'll be able to uh, see whether a file exists or doesn't exist. So until now, we have not learned how we can use any module. So if we want to use a module, we need to use import statement and then we need to tell the name of the module. So here we are going to use OS module. So we are saying import space OS. And so basically a module is something which has already so many uh, classes, functions and methods which we can make use of in order to ease our work. So in this case, in order to check up whether a file exists or it doesn't exist, I don't really need to write a new program. There is already a module which is called OS module available. So we are just going to use this module and we are going to see a method which can actually 
we can use in order to see the existence of a file. So here I'm going to use os.path.exists and inside this we need to tell name of the file which we want to see. So I'm going to say demo2.txt and now this is going to return either true or false. Okay, so let's print this and see what is the output which you get. I'm going to do control enter and you can see that we have received true. Now let's search for a file which we know doesn't exist. For example, demo3.txt. This is a file I know doesn't exist. And now let's do control enter and now we can see that we have received the output of false. Okay, so uh, what is going to happen is and where to use this is so whenever you are going to read a file it is important that you make sure that file exists so you can do a validation that file exists and then only you should perform read operations so let's try to read a file which doesn't exist and see how uh, how it works okay so in this case i'm going to say demo3.txt i'm just commenting this line temporarily okay so what we are doing now is we are opening a file and trying to read it and then trying to close the file now we know demo3.txt file does not exist so let's do control enter and see what happens now you saw when we try to read the file which doesn't exist we got the error saying no such file or directory now typically in a in your program or in a production uh, environment you will not try to write a program which is prone to fail you would like to write a program which is bulletproof and which is not going to fail in any scenarios that's why you need to write many validation statements before performing any action in the file. So here what we, we should have done is we should have used this os.path.exists before opening the file. So we can use this in the if statement and what this is going to do is this is going to see whether the file exists or not and once the file exists so if this statement is true in that case only this block of code is going to run and then we can print else if so if this statement if this if statement is false in that case else statement is going to execute where we are going to print a method that file does not exist okay so in this case now we are not going to get error but what we are going to get is user friendly message saying that file does not exist so let's do control enter and now you can see that it is saying file does not exist okay now in certain cases if file does not exist you may want to create a new file okay so now what i can do is i can use this i can use this syntax which which we have used to create a file okay so here i'm going to use this syntax and i'm going to put that in the F, uh, in this if block okay so now here I'm going to see if the file exists or not and if the file does not exist in that case we want to create the file okay so I'm sorry we should have put that in else block okay so if file doesn't exist in that case we want to create the file so here we can do demo3.txt and here we can change the message to file does not exist going to create a new file okay and then it is going to create a new file and going to add this new line to the file and now if we want we can read the file again or let's let's uh, see how it works for the first time so now when i do control enter what this has done is it is saying file does not exist going to create a new file okay now if i run the same program again what do you think is going to happen if you guessed that this block of code is going to execute then you are correct let's do control enter and see how it works now you saw when i ran the program for the second time this uh, piece of block got executed because file was already created and file was existing and that's why we were able to read the content of the file Okay, so that's how you uh, you can see whether a certain file exists or not exists before you move on to performing any action with the file. Alright, so now we are going to see how we can remove a file. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say remove 
a file which is called demo3.txt so we know that we have a file demo3.txt here so this is the file which we are going to remove and before this let's also print a message saying that going to remove the file okay now let's hit control enter and it is saying going to remove the file so it has removed the file and now if you want you can again check the existence of the file so I ran this again that's why it is giving the error because it is saying that there is no file demo3.txt because this file has successfully been removed or other thing is you could have just ran this ospath.exist to check the existence of the file after you remove the file okay so this would have given you uh, output of false because this file does not exist now so in this session we have learned how we can handle the file and perform different operations with the file such as opening the file and reading the file and then performing some write operations to the file and also checking whether certain file exists or it doesn't exist and also how we can remove uh, an existing file so if you have any query please feel free to ask in Q&A section